whatever you want to call it. I think this year is probably is liquid gold. Means I guess the fertilizer prices are through the roof. I won't know. I don't really buy any. So we've been at it for almost a day now. Hopefully tomorrow we'll wrap it up. They're talking rain on Wednesday. I don't know it must be the 19th today. 18th today. I don't know. It's Monday. Whatever day that is. One of those days. We've had a fairly decent day for the most part. We've only broken a couple things. As I can show you. Come, come. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, ooh. So, bank number four on the tractor. It said just this morning, me no working no more. If you want me to work, give me money. So, at some point, I suppose we'll feed the beast. Also, I don't know if you can see, but that pipe out there, well, it's hanging on by a thread. Or should I say a rubber? <laughs> Literally. And is it supposed to? I don't know here. See? That's it's rotten. I have it on here just barely holding this side. We're hoping to get her through and fix it. Just like I this broke here. See? Load and do! Can't really see, but she's just chilling. That won't happen to you. We got a scrubber. Really moist in the pit. And when it sprays, you get a nice mist. Uh, a fragrant shatire. It's a wonderful smell. For all you single men out there, I would really look into getting the fragrant shatire. It's very potent. And women, they definitely have something to say when you're wearing it. All right, we're in what? You gotta thread the needle here and hope for the best when you're taking a right hand turn. As you can see, the manure drops, you get kind of close to a catch in the shed. Oh well. We make it happen. And don't run into fuel barrels, drive up on the lawn. It's important to drive on the lawn. Life wouldn't be worth living if you couldn't drive on the lawn. Some people might not think that, but I do. So we've gotten a little ways. It's bouncy down the road. The field road, that is. Now, I don't know what has happened today, but for some reason, the Wire Star satellite, we keep losing signal and... Uh, it's pretty ugly. The swerving, we've been having the hands steer today and it's not going well. Penny, watch out!
for you that don't farm, I should maybe explain what I'm doing today. So that there's, yeah. So here we have the coal pump. I don't know if you can see in there. But so we use this pump to mix up the pit. And when I say pit, let me explain that to you. So this is what I mean by the pit. The cows are on top of a pit. The floor is slatted so that when they poo and pee, it falls through into the pit. So if we come over here, you can see this is still part of the pit. And this is our pump that is in that very pit. And then from there, it, once it's mixed, it gets pumped into this tank. Once it's in this tank, we have this gauge here that tells us how full it is, so we better hurry up because that's full. Anyways, so then this here is an impeller, which is run off the hydraulic banks of the tractor, which then pumps it into this, the impeller runs and it pumps it into this pipe. And it runs back to the back of the tank. Now this is what it looks like filling. And see this is the pipe that it falls and it goes to the back of the tank. We better get down to the little full. Oh boy. If you let it run over, it makes a mess. So I will finish it after we stop. But I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you know it's full when you're sitting in the tractor when big globs start splashing up. First it'll start little bubbling like that. And then it's time to shut her down. I don't know if the camera picked it up or not. And then we uh, shut our PTO off. We idle down. We always shut the tractor off in between loads. Right or wrong, that's what we do. All right, so this is our pipe here that we were up on top and it falls down. Then it goes into This, the pipe runs into this feller right here. And so there's enough pressure that it equal distributes out of each of these hoses. And out of the hoses, poo flies out of here. And this is in the ground and it doesn't really disturb it. It just lifts it just a little bit and then the poo shoots in there. I hope that explains it. Now the reason we do that is because directly injecting the manure into the ground makes the manure more valuable, meaning we grow a better corn crop or whatever crop we're trying to grow. And that's why we do that. All right, so I'll show you on here what they do. First, we gotta get turned straight and click it into Wire Start GPS. It is working better today. I don't know what the satellite's problem was yesterday, but it is working better today. So bank one runs, uh, this, I don't know if you guys can see it in the mirror, but then you push it and then you push bank one and two. And then I have them set for detent and running and or continuous flow. Then we hammer down. And hauling manure isn't very, there's not a lot of things going on. You can watch two injectors, one in each side of the mirror to kind of see what's going on, but that's about it. So that's how that is. All right, we got the paint washed up. Now we just gotta fix some things. Because while I was washing it, we ran into this problem. It's not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be here. So I'm gonna get it welded and then I'll show you my fancy welding. All right, I think we got it welded. Now, she ain't the prettiest in the world, but that's okay. It's gonna last longer than a newer. 
Now some of you are may wondering, Gomer, why the hell did you weld it with the plastic piece still on? Well, because I can. And the fact that when I tried to take it off, it just squeezed the pipe inside. So either I can hopefully see if this works like this, or I have to buy all new pieces anyway. So we'll try this. And since I'm such a fancy welder and all, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, this here will not cause me any issues until next year when I want to pump it again. Guaranteed. There will be nothing wrong with this sitting in the shed all winter long. Because that's how talented I am. All right, I'm gonna get the hole closed up here. Then I'm going to give it a quick paint job. So hopefully it doesn't rust so bad. Then we will fill it with some water. And then we'll catch back with you guys when we squirt some water out of the injectors and stuff to clean all the poo out of it so that it's ready for winter storage. Because you see, this here also does need to get fixed. But it's something that we will worry about. More than likely, it'll get fixed the day before we need it, but maybe I'll surprise myself and we'll get it done before that. But this definitely needs to get fixed because I'm surprised this didn't blow out. It's really loud over there. So what we're doing is we're blowing dry corn up the harvester before we start combining the new corn. Because we found that it helps to put dry corn on the bottom of the harvester. You end up with a lot less moldy corn because we don't have a power suite. So, so we're taking corn out of the bin over there and we're just blowing it up the silo. We'll do about four or so loads. Also, look what came. Dumpy! It's in the fight against the trees. We needed a dumpy to fight. All right, we're ready to dump it. So you guys gotta be fast, okay? There's no kid back there. We better get in position. Keep stuff in better shape if you clean it out a little bit. Where's it empty? So empty. Now, Ugh. that's one. That's the hard one. So we put a little paint inside the tank also. To help keep stuff from rusting. All right, so I think this is gonna wrap up our video. We owe you a joke, so we'll get that in there now. You'll get when a chicken lays an egg on the top of a barn. What? An egg roll. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. That'd be nice. We're trying to get more subscribers. It keeps me motivated to make videos. The more subscribers we get, so. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to have a glass of milk and eat some cheese, please. And have a good one.
GoPro. Stop recording.